Ooh. Man, it is freezing out. It's about 25 degrees. It is warming up. It's still the AM. But, you know, gotta make videos. This channel is almost at 1,000 subscribers! Yay! Pretty psyched about that. So I gotta keep on grinding, make videos. Doesn't matter that it just snowed and it's 25 degrees. And uh, speaking of hitting 1,000 subscribers, I do want to celebrate the occasion by buying a new camera. This is something I've been talking about doing for a while. I've just lacked motivation. I'm currently using a GoPro Hero 5 session, so that's already five generations old. But the thing is, when comparing this camera against the new uh, Hero 10, there's zero difference. In terms of image quality, the sensor in the camera is the exact same. You can make the argument that the processor is better, but GoPro still has issues with their cameras freezing. Just port the GoPro Hero 10. I turn it on, it says to update the firmware. I go to update the firmware, it's not working, so I turn it off and it freezes. So I don't know, I don't think a GoPro is the way to go. The other option is the DJI Action 2. And this has a new modular design, which I actually really like. Because the whole point of an action camera is of course the durability, but it's also things like the mounting options, being easily able to put the camera where you want it to be, like on my helmet for example. And they have a magnetic latch system, which is pretty cool, and it allows you to easily move the camera around. And for what I do here, it's actually a pretty huge advantage. And it also has things like horizon leveling, which is another advantage of action cameras versus say a smartphone. But even that camera is not perfect because it does suffer a lot from overheating issues. So you can only record for a maximum of like 15 minutes depending on the ambient temperature before the camera shuts off. And that's kind of a huge deal breaker. So I think I'm just going to stick with my Hero 5 session until technology gets better. Okay, I'm kind of lost. I think I have to go this way. Oh, by the way, we're going to a new off-roading location. We're going to scout it out and see if it's any good. But I don't know how to get to it. Maybe go straight? Let me consult the phone. Okay, so we need to go straight and then left. And then we follow that road over a highway. That's going to be fun. Then across another highway onto Milburn Ave. Fantastic. Fat tires. Hell yeah. Oh, what? What is this? Okay, those are not e-bikes, but they were cool. Ooh, Tesla charging station at a Wawa. Wait, there's a Wawa here? I thought that was a South Jersey thing. This is clearly not South Jersey. I'm not gonna wait in traffic. Is this another fat tire bike? Nice. Yeah, no e-bike. I didn't see a hub motor. Or a mid-drive motor. Gotta be inclusive. <clears throat> okay, I do have something I want to document publicly on the internet. Uh, and that's to do with my hub motor. So, I currently have a very popular brand. It's NB Power. It's like the best-selling one on Amazon. If you want, like, a high-powered... Uh, hub motor, you're probably going to end up buying this brand. And I noticed I'm not the only one that has this, I'm going to call it a symptom. It doesn't directly affect the performance right now, but I don't think it's a good indication for the health of the motor. And the symptom I'm having is a very odd noise, sometimes pretty loud, coming from the hub motor at a very specific RPM range or a speed when accelerating from a dead stop. It doesn't happen all the time, but when it does happen, it's not a good sound. And here's the best example of it that I captured so far on camera. So yeah, leave a comment down below on what you think is causing that noise and if you think it's an issue. It only happens occasionally and while accelerating at a very specific time. And then the noise goes away. It's just for a split second. 
My best guess is that one of the magnets is a little bit loose. And when it has a certain amount of voltage, it kind of oscillates. Because right now, at a constant speed, I don't hear anything. So, I'm not sure what that is. And I have heard it before on other people's YouTube channels that have this brand of hub motor. Okay, where am I? I definitely missed a turn. Okay, I am way off course. Uh, what road is that? Maple? Okay, I gotta go back. I gotta go all the way back to Melbourne Ave. Okay, it's right after a 7-Eleven. Just gonna bypass. Okay, here's the TD Bank. That's the 7-Eleven. The turn should be right at that light. I have to get past all this traffic though. Shouldn't be too bad. The road is covered in a large amount of salt, but hey, I got a lot of faith in my, my new fenders. After my last video, they kept me bone dry, so I'm not worried at all. Yeah, Morris Ave. There we go. And then we go straight on this for quite a distance. Oh, look at gas. 445. Every day it's going up by like 10 cents. I mean, aside from the extreme cold and my inability to even feel my thumb throttle, not a bad day to be riding e-bikes. Alright, we might have to stop soon and do some jumping jacks. Otherwise, I'm in danger of losing the tips of all of my fingers. But I think we should be close. I mean, this is only supposed to be a few miles in total. Yeah, I'm gonna check. Because this is the town. But I don't see any off-roading areas. Okay, we're, uh, we gotta make a left turn onto... Can I get a name? Lackawanna. That's a cool name. All right, let's continue. Nice little town. Oh, I think the hub motor made that noise again. It wasn't super loud, but again, it was right as I was accelerating. It made that rattle, I guess you can call it. Okay, bro. Yeah, you completely cut me off. Ugh. But see, the funny thing is, accelerating right there, I didn't hear the noise. Oh, this is us. Lackawanna. Ooh, there's another park right there. Okay, that's a small park. The one we're going to right now is, or should be, magnificent. Yeah, it's a, it's a huge wooded area. Okay, yeah, that's it right there. I think. Yeah, it has to be. Okay, what is this place? It's very mountainous. I still have my hub motor, obviously. I might be upgrading to a mid-drive soon, and that's a lot more suitable for hills like this. But let's see if my hub motor can... let's see what it can do. See, I think my hub motor is just making the noise again. Going uphill slightly. It must feel like when it hits a torque level or a voltage level, it just kind of... I think it's something with the magnets. All right, well, unfortunately, there is a bunch of no bicycle signs, and there's clearly a cop here. And they say mountain bikes are strictly forbidden because of soil erosion with a $100 fine. So I guess we'll limit it when it comes to that. But regardless, with the trail that steep, my hub motor could definitely not handle that. So, since I'm here, I might as well do a little bit of a hike, but I don't think you guys would enjoy that too much. So, I'm going to end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did and you're still watching, I appreciate a like on the video, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff. We're getting close to hitting that 1,000 subscriber milestone. And if you guys have any idea what's making that noise within these NB Power direct drive hub motors, leave a comment down below. But I'll see you guys in the next one.